we know the plan we, we know the data sets and what to do how to do then they go for a project landscape we have to design our flow right so this is what is our project landscape we can also call it as hld where we are trying to uh, you know this design we already discussed guys so if you see it is medallion architecture where raw is a lake house and silver is lake house but gold is warehouse this we already discussed in our previous session apart from that we also use a lake house for landing we want to bring our data the data set which you are seeing from our relational database again i'm telling you we may use mysql or sql server microsoft sql server or mysql for demonstration it doesn't matter what is the source here because rdbms might be post degree cybase uh, db2 sap hana oracle sql server mysql any one you can use we can use either one mysql or sql server that is the source for us and we will use data factory to ingest those data into our landing under lake house and i purposefully included shortcuts to see a practical some demo and the adl agent to through adl agent to let us assume this data is is there from 2025 but from 2020 to 2024 example i'm saying some history data you want to migrate from adl agent to to our uh, lake house what you can do or let's say there are some files in our adl agent too you have to do one time load into our raw raw tables and raw to silver silver to gold also is possible through a pipeline it will take care once the data is in raw then obviously it will load till gold layer so if there is historical data which is there inside the adl agent too without using data factory how you can able to load at the same data into uh, this target table is our use case let's assume that you want to load historical data also right so what you do because this is already there let's say some some five files are there or some four files are there you have to bring the four files that's a one time load you remember it won't be useful in case of incremental load that is what we learned but we are not doing incremental load you want to process this whole data whatever inside there the containers of the adl agent without dumping it let's say this volume is let's say one petabyte of data if you are not moving the data into landing rather you just create one shortcut from shortcut if you are able to load into a table you are indirectly saving one petabyte of data storage cost and also compute cost very big achievement make sense team yes or no yes okay so what are the data that coming from our dbn system we will store in our landing folder under lake house then we will process those data to our raw data relayer and then silver and then we'll move to gold by using tsql or spark notebooks again we are following medallion architecture by using single lake that is one lake and finally this data will goes to our business users or a power bi consumption purpose this is what is even maxa fabric is recommending for our lap applications this is what is the use case landscape our project are you able to follow yes natesh yes natesh yes natesh you have any questions so far if not we'll move forward uh, natesh one question so why we are using the landing zone here we are just uh, we can pull the data into branch layer right all raw data whether it from relational database or from adl agent can you just bit uh, explain uh, the okay. use of the landing zone okay. here no worries no worries your your understanding or your question is valid why i'm saying this you are saying that why should we again bring a data in the form of files and uh, keep in our folder or landing folder that is what your question is correct rather we can directly 
uh, load that table to table load let's say from relational uh, database to our uh, raw raw layer table that is well well good what happens in real real time sometimes let's say you you brought today's data you are able to process it but some mistake was happened uh, and you notice that in our power bi report that the data which you processed is is not correct okay something is happened might be issue with the data uh, we are not sure whether the source data itself is having uh, some corrupted records or we did some mistake and uh, while doing a transformations and so that we are seeing incorrect data if you notice after a month but you processed a one month back then where is your source data to check it because in raw might be sometimes we will insert override we, we don't know or we may not maintain the history in a raw sometimes or we may purge the data if it's more than one year or based on the requirement let's say more than one month or more than six months we may purge the data if you want to cross check you have to all the way go to source right what if source is saying no we won't retain because this our uh, sql server won't have that much space every month we will trash the data only one month data only we will hold we already told you that you please archive our source data for a future reference you are getting me if yeah, you yeah. are able to archive then there is an option you go back you uh, and open that file and see okay this file itself is having a source data issue then you can ask a source team to provide it if 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 it is if not you can ask a client to provide it but if you are not maintaining this archive for the landing then how you achieve this and naresh uh, as we, as we are discussing about the landing area and do we have any retention policies that we can set up or it has wait, any wait, default wait wait yeah. you are the one who asked this question previously previous question no no sorry sir i'm not wait wait i will come to you so who asked question uh, it's me naresh so uh, i you no, understand right. basically when you we understand. don't have source data uh, maintaining version of landing first. also try to understand we are going to create a two folders let's say uh, i don't know whether i log into that or not let me open uh, i am in a dev workspace let's say there's a lake house okay if you remember i created one okay if you remember i have created one landing lake house so under this if you see under file section archive and landing are you able to see yeah in landing now what are the files today it comes no it will come here landing then we, i will process it and process after process this files i will move to archive not copy i will move to archive that means this landing will hold only one day data or till files got processed successfully but archive will hold some data let's say if retention for some some of our friend is asking so we will after processing these files we will move that files to archive through pipeline itself automatically it will move once our process is su successfully loaded till board layer then we will move that data to archive from landing from landing to archive we will move so in landing won't hold any history but archive hold the history again let's say some companies i don't want more than one year data if they are saying that i don't want one more than one year data we will create one policy to purge the data more than one year we'll run some script or some code then we will delete the data which is more than or previous than a year back so that all the day at any point of time you will see only one year of data are you able to understand yes this is what is i explained here this is what i explained here if you see this folder that's why i showed you you may thinking that why we need this step but it is very very important step you should not leave okay this is a required and for your information historical data i am not loading it see it is optional again historical data if you want to keep this or not it is up to you based on the client requirement if client says no 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 i don't want uh, to have that into archive so but i need the data into a tables then you have to process the data to tables 
if they say no i want this data even in an archive then yes you have to again use instead of shortcut you have may have to use the adf only because anyway you want to pull the data so then what is the use shortcut if you want to archive this adf gen2 data then you have to use adf not a shortcut if the client is saying no i don't want any archive rather you want to just load a tables then i don't want to use adf i will use shortcut when to use what is based on the requirement this is the standard uh, architecture and go anywhere right. 90% percent projects should follow this or uh, archive is optional based on the requirement if client says i don't want any archive then there is no matter of creating another folder called archive directly you use a landing and then do it okay, okay. fine, fine.